Singapore's Changi Airport has been ranked the world's best for seven years in a row now. But just because it's at the top doesn't mean it's staying comfortable. It's called Jewel. It's a nearly $1.3 billion project which connects three of the four terminals at Singapore's Changi Airport. It aims to increase the number of passengers coming to Singapore for both visits and stopovers. It's even being dubbed a destination for the locals too. And maybe that's not so crazy considering it also boasts its own movie theater and grocery store. But if you come to this airport for just a layover, well, you will need to clear immigration to enter this dome. Unless... Say you have a stopover here at the airport, but you don't want to go through immigration. Well, this train allows you to hop on board and go right through the jewel uh, so you can experience it without actually getting off. By riding on one of these trains, you can experience jewel without technically ever entering Singapore. So what exactly is this place which feels like an airport, a tourist attraction, and a gigantic mall all combined into one? Jewel builds on Singapore's goal of being a city in a garden. Here are the three elements that make Jewel unique. Number one, the HSBC rain vortex. This is where the water originates. It goes down through this funnel, which then creates the vortex. The total length of the waterfall is more than 130 feet, making it the largest indoor waterfall in the world. Jewel is comprised of five floors above ground and five floors below ground. I'm standing two floors below ground right now, and this is actually the base of the waterfall, which goes inside the glass, and the glass you can even touch. The Shiseido Forest, which is sort of meant to feel like you're going on an actual hike. It spans across five levels and is nearly 100 feet from the bottom to the top. There's about 60,000 trees, plants, and shrubs. And there's actual signs that refer to it as a trail. Many studies were conducted to ensure the plants and flowers will survive the right temperature, humidity, and sun exposure. To build this forest, they've imported trees from the US, China, and Australia. And if you walk up to the top of the forest, you get to what this area is known as Canopy Park. Don't worry, you can also take the escalator. Here, you can walk the entire perimeter of Jewel and see more views of the rain vortex along with inter-terminal airport trains passing by. It's also home to different gardens, activities, and more restaurants. Singapore's Changi ranks number seven in the world in terms of international passenger volume, but it wants to climb the ranks by increasing the number of people coming through the airport. That's one of the reasons for this endeavor. Singapore's spot on the map puts it within a seven hour flight of some of the world's biggest populations, including China, India, and Indonesia. Construction of Jewel broke ground at the end of 2014, and it was finished in less than five years. Once this bridge behind me opens up, you're gonna be able to look down at your feet and see right through because, well, it's made of glass. Not recommended if you're afraid of heights. Overall, we wanted to create a multifaceted project that would capture tourism mindshare and just attract more people. That's Jewel Changi Airport's CEO, Jean Hung. What's good for our travellers is if you're kicked out of your hotel in the morning, but your flight is at night, you can come to Jewel, check in your bag, enjoy the facilities that you see around you before you go onto your flight. Even though there are plenty of homages to Singapore, much of the inspiration is global. We went around the world because we wanted to create a memorable garden. Um, and so we got inspirations from Highline. Uh, we went to the Huntington Gardens in LA and yeah, we had visited various gardens that are world-renowned uh, and tried to learn a little bit from the best. In an effort to be energy efficient, the air conditioning actually comes from the ground through vents like this. The idea behind this is to save energy by only cooling areas where people actually are, rather than the entire dome. But while Jewel might seem like a fun way to spend a Sunday afternoon, what's it like to be here if you're running to catch a flight or you just landed after a long journey? You have a seven hour stopover. What's your first impression of this experience? Uh, fast and simple, pretty straightforward. So you just landed, what do you think so far? It's really amazing. You're about to fly out. Did you come early just to see it? 
Yeah, actually I have uh, about uh, 30 minutes until I uh, need to run, so I'm in a rush. One passenger told me the area was hard to maneuver with their luggage, but Jewel has a baggage storage service too. Passengers can pay around 10 to $20 to store luggage for up to 24 hours, and that's not all. Traditionally, passengers have only been allowed to drop off their luggage three hours before their flight, but now that's changing. Now, up to 24 hours before most flights, passengers can check in here, drop off their luggage in these automated machines behind me, and then from there, well, the airport hopes that you'll go and have a nice meal, do some shopping, or just explore the sights. Just seeing the people being overwhelmed by it is something quite emotional for me. That's Ashith Alva. He was the head of this project. We've created this new icon where the world can see what Singapore offers the world. There's water feature behind me. It looks very simple. It's just water coming out of nowhere. But to actually get to this, there were so many studies done. It took almost two years of pure studies. He said his team actually used a reservoir in Los Angeles to do a full-scale mock-up of the waterfall to understand how the water would land, how loud it would be, and even the specifics of how it would splash in different areas. Aside from the main attractions under the dome, there's more than 280 new restaurants and stores here. Thank you. There's more than 80 food and beverage outlets here, some of which, like this one, are making their debut in Singapore. The Singaporeans and our London restaurants are actually um, our, our third biggest customer. So yeah, it made obvious sense to, uh, to come to Singapore once the dual opportunity was given. That's Ben Headley of UK restaurant chain Burger & Lobster, who said the opportunity at Jewel made them choose Singapore over Hong Kong for its flagship Asian outlet. Then there's also New York burger chain Shake Shack, making its first mark in Southeast Asia with this location. Even Starbucks had to find ways to go big. This Starbucks is now the largest in Singapore and it's the first with its own four tap nitro bar. Thank you. But if all of that outside is too much commotion for you, you can come and get some shut eye in between flights where you can rent a room like this for as little as four hours, which costs around $60. At night, the days end with timed light shows at the Rain Vortex waterfall. Overall, Jewel is an impressive feat. It feels like a glimpse of an airport from the future, only it's open now. Overall, it kind of feels like I'm in a theme park. You have this inspirational and exciting music that's playing in the background, and I'm even standing in what's referred to as a splash zone. While I'm not sure people will change their travel plans because of Jewel, I do know there's now a higher chance that I'll be missing my flight. Hey guys, it's Upton. Thanks for watching. I want to know, would you modify your itinerary just to have a layover here at this airport? Let us know in the comments below. While you're at it, subscribe to our channel.